Now again, we'll get back to the same question. I have mentioned before that it is not only oxygen that we breathe in or it is not only carbon dioxide that we breathe out. It is always air that we breathe in and again air that we breathe out. So because why, why is it like that? Because our body really do not have a selective mechanism to inhale only oxygen. Because when you look at the your surroundings, your surroundings contain air and air is what air is a mixture of various gases so air contains maximum amount of nitrogen which is almost 78 percent air contains oxygen which is almost 21 percent it also contains carbon dioxide which is very less as less as 0.03 percent and some other gas gases are also present in the air so this is the composition of air now when we are when we want to breathe in so if our body doesn't have any special feature by which it can only take in car oxygen till then we have to breathe in that mixture of gases that is air so what we inhale is actually air that is a mixture of gases but inside our body the cells need oxygen so what the cells do they have a special thing which can actually carry only the oxygen and provide it to the cells and what is that special thing that we have inside our blood so that special thing is hemoglobin so whatever we breathe in is air which contains a lot of gases like nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide etc etc now when this air enters inside our body and it, it is actually transported to different cells of the body through blood right so blood actually helps to carry it to different cells of the body now this blood contains a special protein called hemoglobin and there is a very special property of this hemoglobin that it has a very strong affinity for oxygen so it has strong affinity or strong attraction you can say for oxygen so this hemoglobin binds with oxygen and that is how it carries oxygen to different cells of the body so hemoglobin carries oxygen to different parts of the body so that's how oxygen is actually taken out from other gases which were present in the air and that is how oxygen is being utilized by the cells of our body right so you got it right that what we inhale is not only oxygen but mixture of gases but since our body needs oxygen so it will selectively take oxygen and what happens to the other gases all these other small amount of gases which have been present in the air which we had breathed in they go out while breathing out because when we breathe out that time also it is not only carbon dioxide which is being breathed out so it contains of course contains the carbon dioxide which was produced as a result of respiration but along with that all this these gases which were not used by our body like nitrogen they are also breathed out so if you actually look at the compost position of the inhaled air what do you see the inhaled air contains almost 21% of oxygen and 0.04% of carbon dioxide so i am only talking about oxygen and carbon dioxide percentage because those are the two gases which are actually involved in the process of respiration or breathing and in the exhaled air the air which we breathe out in that air what is the percentage of oxygen there is 16.4 percent oxygen and around 4.4 percent of carbon dioxide which is breathed out so just compare the percentages in the inhaled air we have taken in 21 percent oxygen and we have given out only 16.4 percent so what happened to the difference what happened to the remaining 4.4 percent so the remaining percentage is actually utilized by the body so if you look at the net inhaled air you see that we have inhaled oxygen now when we look at the carbon dioxide you see we inhale very small amount of carbon dioxide but we are exhaling a lot of carbon dioxide that means our body overall is exhaling carbon dioxide so net result if you see and what about the other gases like nitrogen so whatever goes in 
the same amount goes out so it is like our body is neither uh, releasing nitrogen nor is it utilizing nitrogen so the net result is that oxygen is being inhaled because more amount of oxygen is inhaled than what is being exhaled and carbon dioxide is being exhaled because more amount of carbon dioxide is given out than what was being taken in so that is why we say that during breathing human beings take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide so please understand this very carefully because a lot of us have misconception that we breathe in only oxygen and we give out only carbon dioxide but that is never possible because the air in our surroundings contain mixture of gases so we actually breathe in air we actually breathe out air but why do we call why do we say that we breathe in oxygen and carbon dioxide that should be clear with this data thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again